Hey everyone, it's Brian, and today we're here with another tutorial on how to accept payments on your website, and this is a common theme on my channel. So I'm gonna show you a simple way to add a PayPal button, just like this one, to your website in WordPress using the Divi WordPress theme or plugin. So in a previous video, I showed you how to create buttons like this, donate or pay now buttons, and you install these by creating the button within your PayPal account, getting the code, and then installing it into the WordPress text field within any page or post or sidebar. But this option that allows you to get this button that's customizable, you can change the text, the color, and even how the button behaves, because everything is operating through the Divi WordPress theme or plugin. It's a much simpler process. This is just plug and play. So I'll show you how to do that starting right now. So first off, we'll come over to our WordPress dashboard and I've created this page, uh, which we will come back to. So the first thing that I'll do is come over to the plugin section and click add new. And under the search bar up at the top right, I'll just search for PayPal for Divi. And once that loads to give credit where credit is due, this plugin right here is the one that we're going to use by Angel Eye. And you can see that I've already activated this plugin on this website. But if you haven't activated it yet, which will be the case for you, you will just simply click install now and then activate. Once the plugin is activated, you'll come down to the settings and hover over the settings option and then come down to PayPal for Divi and you'll click on it. And this is where you begin the customization of setting up your PayPal account. Now it's very simple to do. Literally all you're doing is typing in the PayPal account name uh, and the PayPal account ID, and then you can check whether it needs to be in sandbox or live mode. You can see that I've already set one up here. And if I click on edit the account name, and that's my PayPal email address, very simple. And I left it in sandbox node to do testing. So if I wanted to add a second PayPal account, because in a second you'll see that you can select which PayPal account you want specific buttons to be attached to. So if you want multiple options, if there's a need for that on your website, you can easily set it up. I have one installed right here, one PayPal account. And in order to add a second, I'll just add it right here. So I'll type in uh, the name of a, of a uh, company PayPal account and the email address associated with it. I can check live or sandbox and I'll go ahead and put this one to live add the PayPal account and it'll show up right there so now I have two options uh, a personal email and a company email ones in live and ones in sandbox that's all you need to do to activate this plugin or set up this plugin in order for you to start creating buttons so once you have that set up just come into the pages or the posts or wherever you would like to add this button and create a page. Now again, this is a Divi plugin, so it's specific to the Divi Builder. So you either have to have the Divi Builder plugin installed on your website and running, or you have to be running the Divi theme or one of the elegant th WordPress themes. So I've already created a page and I'm just gonna click on edit. And as you can see, I already have the Divi Builder activated. So there's there'll be a button right here that requires you to use the Divi Builder in order to make this option possible. So all you're going to do is create a row and then click on Insert Module. And if you've activated the plugin that I just showed you how to, to set up, you'll get this option right here for PayPal button. And you just click on it. And then this module settings will come up. Select the PayPal account that you want. We'll just set it to the live one. You have a button type, and these are pretty self-explanatory, but this is where you go down and you'll just edit the button and customize it according to what you would like to have happen. So you can type an item name in here. You can type an item price. We'll do $50 buy now or donate. So let's just leave it as donate option. You can set the return or the cancel URL. If the customer decides to cancel out, they'll be sent back to those pages on your website. And then you can customize the button display. If you check this to yes, you can put, you know, custom text here or just, you know, donate here. This will be a long button because I got a lot of text on there. Change it to light or dark text can even upload an image. I'll put the 
button in the center and then I'll label this donate button for my own ad administrative labelings and I'll save. So I have the PayPal button and the donate button. I'll click update. This one, by the way, I had already set up. So the PayPal donate button is the one that we just created and I'll click preview and it loads in this screen and there it is. There's my custom text here, donate here. And if I click on that button, which again is customized all through the Divi plugin that I just showed you how to do, it brings it straight over to this one and you can see this is the page that somebody can donate now. They can select credit or debit or pay with PayPal. So that's really all there is to it. You know, one of the nice things about the Divi plugin and the, the WordPress theme itself is that you can really customize things to look however you would like, especially the buttons. So if you want to make a, a custom button that, that looks similar to either of these, you can add these. Of course, as usual, you can put them over here on the sidebar or you can you know, modify them and add additional text and customize the page. So this plugin developer has really created a nice, easy, simple way by just plugging in PayPal email addresses and then being able to create a button that results in, you know, nice Divi buttons that look just like this. And these, of course, if you're familiar with Divi, these are the standard buttons that come with the Divi plugin and theme. If you're not familiar with Divi, I'll put a link in the description where you can click over and, and find the plugin and the theme. It's a WordPress system and theme that I've set up for clients. So I am an affiliate. So if you click on that and buy, I'll get a little commission, which I do appreciate. And if you have any questions, be sure to just comment below and I'll get your questions answered. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more payment tutorials just like this one. I always post regular weekly videos on the topics of merchant accounts and payment processing and especially adding different payment options to your website uh, and WordPress websites in particular. If you want to know about alternatives to PayPal using Stripe or other merchant account gateways while still customizing buttons like this, be sure to subscribe because I have other tutorials that use other software tools that allow you to invoice and create custom hosted payment pages similar to this one here, for example, where you can click away from your website and have a nice hosted payment page just like this on your website. So that's it for today. Again, be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you next time.